Hi, I am Arman Agarwal and today I am going to tell you about my hometown and the world known historical city Agra which was also mentioned in the Mahabharata as Agravena and it was also one of the major cities of the Mughal Empire. Now, let me tell you how to reach Agra. If you are coming by a car, then Agra is well connected by roads. But if you are coming by train, Agra has a number of railway stations and some of them are really old. Or if you are coming by a flight, you can directly land at the Indira Gandhi International Airport at New Delhi and come to Agra via the Yamuna Expressway. It's just a two and a half hour drive. Coming to the places to visit there, let's first talk about the monuments of Agra. This white marble structure is called the Taj Mahal. It is the tomb of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jah and his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal. It is also one of the seven new wonders of the world. Thousands of visitors come to see this great monument every day. Agra Fort is an another famous landmark of Agra. This huge red sandstone fort was built by the Mughals. This fort was the place from where Akbar ruled the whole India. The tomb of Itmatuddala is a beautiful tomb of Jahangir's father-in-law Itmatuddala. It is also called Baby Taj. Fatehpur Sikri is a city near Agra built by Akbar in the memory of a saint. This city was once the capital of India until it was shifted to Agra due to water crisis. Sikandra is a huge and a beautiful tomb of Akbar the Great. And the kids can really enjoy her because there are lots of monkeys, langurs and deers. St. John's College is not exactly a monument, but yes, a beautiful and a magnificent college of the British era. It is also one of the oldest institutions of Agra. Now, let us talk about the religious places in Agra. St. Peter's Church is a beautiful church which has thread paintings depicting the life of Jesus Christ on its walls. The Swami Bhak Temple is a beautiful old temple of the Radha Swami sect. Mankameshwar Temple is a very old temple of Lord Shiva. It is also one of the oldest religious places in Agra. Jama Masjid is a very old mosque in the city of Agra. This huge beautiful Gurudwara is called the Guru Katal Gurudwara. Coming to the hotels, Agra has extremely good hotels. The Obera Amar Vilas is the best hotel in Agra and also the closest to the Taj Mahal. Just a 8 minutes walk from the eastern gate of the Taj. The Trident is a hotel with very nice facilities. Taj Gateway is also a nice hotel. The JP Palace is a huge and a beautiful hotel. It has also many restaurants and fun for kids too. Hotel Radisson Blue is just a few kilometers from the Taj Mahal. Mughal Sheridan is also one of the best hotels of Agra. The largest spa of Asia is in this hotel. Crystal Sarova Premier is a recently built hotel and most of its rooms have a magnificent view of the Taj. You also have many good budget hotels in Agra like the Hotel Amar, Howard Plaza and Hotel Retreat. Now here are some restaurants of Agra. The Mughal Room is a very nice Mughal restaurant where you can have a gazit evening too. The Patra has many mouth watering Mughal dishes. Like the Mughal Room, you can also have a gazit evening here. The Peshawari has a variety of North Indian dishes. Jeethal is a restaurant from where you can have the traditional Indian food. You all may be liking Chinese food. Guess Chine is a very good Chinese restaurant. Pinch of Spice is famous for its continental food.
It is also one of the top 10 restaurants in India. Bellu Wave has a number of mouth-watering dishes. The restaurant at Trident is a very good restaurant. It is famous for its wood-fired pizza. Bon Barbecue is a restaurant from where you can eat kebabs and tandoori items. If you have interest in pastries or bakery items, then in my suggestions, MQOP is the best for you where they have a variety of mouth-watering pastries and bakery items. You all may have heard dosa, idli, vada, sambar. Yes, they are the dishes of the South Indian cuisine. Dasha Prakash is famous for its South Indian. Bango is another South Indian restaurant. You can just grab a bite at the Bikanirwala, Pizza Hut, Domino's or the Subway. Now, let's talk about the local eating of Agra. Don't miss to eat the ice cream of Madhu, which is a very famous ice cream brand in Agra. The coffee bar is a famous ice cream of Madhu. You can have the local daily morning breakfast at Deviram Sweets, berries and jalebis. The Rambabu Paratha Bandar is a famous restaurant of Agra which sells varieties of parathas. Now, let's discuss about famous events of Agra. If you are visiting Agra in the month of February, you can surely go to the Taj Mahotsav which is held from 18th February to 27th February where people from different states of India come and sell their handicrafts and much more. You can also go to the Mohabbat Itad show at Kalakriti in the evening which depicts the love story of the Mughal Emperor Shah Jah and his favourite wife Mumtaz Mahal. You can also visit the Light and the Sound show at Agra Fort from where you can learn more about the history of the Agra Fort through Light and Sound. If you are getting bored in the morning, you can visit the famous parks of Agra. You can visit the Mehtab Bagh and the Ram Bagh, the huge famous Mughal Gardens of Agra. A visit to the Taj Nature's Walk in the morning is a must, from where there are many viewpoints from where you can have a great view of the Taj Mahal. Motilal Nehru Park, formerly known as Victoria Park, is a huge and beautiful park. Now, let's come to shopping. The Sadar Bazaar has many shops, bookstores, shoe stores, clothing stores and many more. But you don't have to forget to enjoy the chart there. In the Sanjay Place MG Road area, you can buy anything from jewellery to a pizza. Agra is famous for its marble. Subhash Emporium is a very nice marble shop from where you can buy unique and antique marble pieces and you can also have a view of the priceless stones. Agra is known for its leather shoes. Valentino is a very good shoe store. The Panchi Peta is the most famous store of Peta and Dalmot in Agra. But be beware of the fake ones. Kenari Bazaar is an old market from where you can buy handicrafts, dry fruits, etc. Now, let us discuss about the places of kids' fun. You can watch the thrilling 70 movies at the Route 1 Riders, Agra. You can have a visit to the JP Palace where kids can play bowling, air hockey and many more games. Now, let us talk about the places near Agra. You can visit the Sursarovar Bird Sanctuary near Agra which is a beautiful sanctuary which has a lot of migratory birds. You can also visit the Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary a very famous bird sanctuary. You can go to the National Chambal Sanctuary where you can have a look at the alligators and the dolphins. That's all for today and now I hope that you may have made plans to come to Agra. For more information, follow us at Twitter Mughal City or visit our website mughalcity.com. Bye-bye.